Welcome back to the channel guys and absolutely those beautiful lovely lady subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Today we're working on a 55 Chevy Bellia Gasa and we're doing it a simple custom way. We're re-instructing re the base. As you can see, I did a Hewitt's. Hewitt's. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at Hewitt's uh, gas, and I'm like, wow, that's unbelievable. I'm going to try that. So I think what Hewitt's did, I think he cut it all the way down to, well, I grinded it. I think he grinded it and cut it all the way out like that, down to the bell housing. That's going to expose the, uh, the axle. And it looks like it's on like that instead of the way Mattel's got it. Mm -hmm. I'll turn the camera around. These are all the cars I'm working on now. I'm working on all these. <clears throat> Let's check out the base right here. Nope, that ain't one. That's a, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah, this is one. See how... They got it headed all like that. And that's how I do my wheels. I put the, the tubes in there. My tube, they all roll nice. They're all rollers. But see how that bit, that is right here? It's all closed in. So what I want to do is I want to get some motors off of ramp. Uh, yeah, really. Uh, Rodney over there at ID Customs, like he was did. And I want to drop a motor with the oil belt. I'll make, a, I'll add on like he was did to the, to the oil pan. Then I'll put my custom exhaust in there. I'll put my uh, universal joint in there. I want to see how these look on a car when I, I gotta sand it down. Then I'll spray it. But that's what I did. Did a little manufacturing. As you would say, fabricate. It's a lot of work. That right there. Uh, now I gotta sand it down. I gotta shape it a little better. I think that's how Hewitts did it. But uh, we're gonna look at it. See what it's like. Maybe I'll drop a tube in there with the with the axle. But I wanna. I might go straight across with the axle. I don't know. We'll see. I, th I don't know if you would put a. He put a tube in there, or a square tubing, and then a tube through that to make it look like going across. But I want to check it out. I gotta check. I gotta check those cars he made out again. Those are super. I want to get another one off him. I'm gonna. I gotta have. Um, I gotta have um, Pete make me one too. Over at Old Man Diecast. If you're following me, I'm sure you're following Old Man Diecast. Unbelievable customizer. Does great work. ID ID Customs Rodney. Fabulosus, Hewitt's, Honest Diecast. There's a lot of great customers out, customizers out there. Um, Gary Sharder. Shout out to Gary Sharder. Very underrated customizer. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. Gary's got some unbelievable customs. They come out just as good as yours. Those Some of those guys he does are fantastic. I don't know how he does it. Old Milwaukee. <laughs> Old Milwaukee Light. <laughs> Oh, but Gary's Gary um, Gary's a hard shirt. He does some great cars. He's making me a uh, uh, Gasa Vega. Gasa Vega. Gary, get a decal. Gasa Vega. I'm giving you the idea now, Rodney. Make Jeff over at W W Replicas. I need some decals. <laughs> Only if you get time, Jeff. I'll pay you for them. Whatever. I'm gonna need some stuff. But uh, make Gary Shorter a decal. The Vega Gasser. <laughs> the Vega Gasser. But I just want to show you a quick one of, uh, of what I'm doing here. I'm going to make another video. Probably tonight I'll do another one and I'll run it through. I'll show you what I'm doing. But uh, you would keep it up over there making some cool cars. Unbelievable. Wish I had your talent, buddy. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.